What is going on YouTube and welcome to Trucking with T. I'm Tiago. Uh, most of my friends call me T. Um, I've been driving tractor trailers on um, the East Coast, most m mainly the, the tri-state area for about 10 years. Um, and I've been with the same company for quite some time. Uh, I've worked for other companies also, cross country. Uh, not really my, my thing decided to um you know stay closer to home be home every day and um i pretty much work new york new jersey pennsylvania sometimes i'll get a trip to maryland sometimes i'll get a trip to connecticut massachusetts but that's very very um seldom but i don't i'm not sure exactly how i'm going to format this channel just yet uh it's going to be i mean it's going to be up to to how the content rolls out uh, but if you guys are intrigued, um, make sure you guys subscribe to the video, um, subscribe to the channel, um, make sure you leave a like on the video, and comment what you guys would like to uh, see in, in future videos, and um, I'll do my best to uh, accommodate everybody's requests. This is my truck here, it's a 2005 uh, Freightliner Columbia, Bay cab. Uh, I purchased this truck two years ago and I've been working local ever since uh, it's been a good truck to me so far and uh, I, mean, I can't I can't complain too much about it uh, now I chose chose a day cab because uh, most of the, the stops around here are uh, very tight and I gotta make sure that I can get into most of these places. Uh, most of these places here, <clears throat> like New York, New Jersey, they require uh, day cab only deliveries, which means that some of these places are very, very tight. So, um, yeah, let's get the show started. All right, guys, well, I got my paperwork and uh, looks like we got a couple of uh, Amazon deliveries for today, so I'll be bringing you guys along for uh, for a couple of Amazon deliveries and show you how uh, Amazon works, because Amazon works a little bit different than uh, than other places. So uh, come along for the ride, and uh, yeah, let's go hook up to our trailer and, and do what we got to do and get on our way.
right guys so we uh dropped our trailer here at amazon as you guys can see um amazon requires that uh all trucks drop their trailers um because of uh, safety issues um they're doing something different now because of this whole COVID thing they're not signing paperwork um when you get to the door you have to text your information to a certain number um and then they text you back with a door to um to place it in So we can go get our tr uh, truck washed. As you guys can see, it's, uh, it's pretty dirty. So, gotta get some of this salt off of it and whatnot. So, let's go ahead and, and drop the trailer real quick and uh, run over to the Blue Beacon. So let's take a look now. It's a lot better. We got some of the stuff off of it. See, everything looks a lot cleaner now. We we're able to uh, get most of the stuff off of it, so it's a lot better. It's a lot better now. Alright guys, so we're all hooked up to our trailer now. Um, the place we, we came to here is, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, the Blue Beacon. Um, they have a couple of them uh, countrywide. Uh, I've only been to this one here. I've been to the one in uh, upstate New York. There's also one in Hubbard, Ohio, which I used to stop at a lot when I used to run to Michigan. Um, and they're usually pretty good. Uh, the prices, I mean, they are what they are. I think uh, it's like 70, $72 to, to wash the truck. Um, you, there's other places that wash trucks, but these are like uh, these are like franchises. So they're, they're they charge a little bit more. And the the thing is, from from Blue Beacon to Blue Beacon, the the service is, is never the same. You could have a couple of times where you go when they do a great job and then you could go a time or two and um, they, won't, they won't do such a great job. But that's neither here nor there because that's with anything that has to do with customer service, that's always gonna be an issue. You're, always, you're never gonna be 100% satisfied. So um, uh, this Blue Beacon is attached to the Petro um, here in uh, New Jersey. Um, I'm gonna run over there and uh, grab some coffee and then we will hit the road. Our next delivery isn't till one o'clock. We can only check in an hour earlier. Uh, so it's a quarter to nine in the morning now. So we have some time to kill. So we're gonna go get some coffee and then uh, we'll hit the road nice and easy. We're not too far. We're probably like 20 minutes, 25 minutes away. So we will um, take it nice and easy there. So. All right, guys. Well, 
Um, got here to Amazon. Uh, got here a little bit early, so the the girl was telling me that maybe they weren't gonna let me in because I was too early. Uh, Amazon is literally so busy that they're doing 15 minute uh, prior to um, appointment time. Uh, you're allowed to check in 15 minutes before your appointment time. I got here, it was like a quarter to 11 and um, she was telling me that maybe, you know, I was gonna have to turn around and have to go park somewhere until around uh, 12.30, 12.45. Uh, luckily she checked with management and uh, the freight that I was bringing was something that they needed to unload um, and they allowed me to, to get in the door. So that usually doesn't happen. Um, but today it did so as you guys can see there um my trailer is the one right there so they are uh gonna start unloading me uh i found a good spot uh, parking spot across from my door so i could keep an eye on uh when the light goes green once again once they're done unloading me so i could hook up and uh call dispatch and try to get my uh my backhaul so i could get back to uh back to the warehouse so um yeah so i'm gonna wait now and, and see what happens and uh hopefully it doesn't take long so let's hope let's hope it doesn't take long so some of you might be wondering why we drop our trailers um why we can't stay hooked up to them well in most cases most bigger warehouses like amazon walmart uh target um dollar general family dollar uh dollar tree those the, the bigger ones they don't allow it due to safety issues um which most of them have the dock locks which is for those who don't know is the locks that go around the back of the trailer to lock the trailer to the dock so even if you try to pull away from it it won't allow you they still don't want you hooked up to your trailer for whatever reason safety concern or whatever um and some of them too like here you, you guys might not be able to tell but here is pretty tight like it's a pretty tight spot so if you're hooked up to the door um if you're hooked up and in the door it might it might cause a problem when people are trying to back in so it makes it easier for the next guy to back in um i really don't have a problem uh dropping the trailer um but there are some trailers that the landing gears are so hard to drop that it's it's a pain in the in the in, in the ass to to drop the trailers but um this one that i have today actually this is um the the landing gear moves pretty smooth so it doesn't have an issue going up or down yeah I, if you guys were ever wondering why we we drop trailers um it's mostly for safety uh issue um some of the warehouses back then didn't have the dock locks and uh i've heard stories from older drivers of uh guys pulling away from the door with a forklift half on the trailer and half on the dock and people getting seriously injured so for the safety of uh those who are unloading the trailers and loading the trailers um they they request you drop the trailer um So Amazon was pretty quick. I got unloaded uh, quick out of Amazon. Um, dispatch had a load waiting for backhaul for me. Uh, so literally had to get off the highway, swap trailers, and um, I'm actually back at the warehouse now. Uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, as you guys saw, it's a, always a very productive day uh, in truck driving. And um, future videos, I'll answer more questions uh, truck related as far as maintenance, as far as uh, operating costs and such. 
and uh, we will uh, get you as much information as I know I'll get out to you guys. Uh, so um, that's going to conclude today's video and uh, wherever you're traveling, wherever you're driving, make sure you do it safely. Thank you guys and I'll catch you in the next one.